Hello, Timu's here. And I got, this was like, as a retro vintage haul. I'm pretty excited to get it because this stuff was fun to shop for. I don't know if I'm going to like it. And it was like a $100 order. Wonder if I had a credit. I only had $11 credit. Oh, I got to use the $40 coupon because I won a game, or I finished a game, and so I can't use these scissors. These are my good ones, my fabric shears. Put them away. I got to use these. There's a difference, even though they look the same. These are my old good shears, and hear how they make this noise? When my kids would pick them up, I could hear it. I would say, put my scissors down. Put my good scissors down. What are you doing with my scissors? Because they always made a noise. My new ones don't do that, though. So it's a good thing I don't have kids at home anymore. All right. I paid $2.12 for this. Because it's going to be cute. And I hope it is, anyway. What color is it? Pink. And why is it rattling? Oh, it's the legs. Can you, did you read on the box what it was? Here it is. It's a tissue box. Isn't it cute? Although, what tissues? My husband uses napkins, you know, for his Kleenex because he has COPD and he has so much post-nasal drip, and so much. Of course, I don't know if he's going to like pink. I don't care. It's my bedroom. So I got this, and he can put his napkins in it and pull them out. And here's the little feet for the bottom. I'm going to glue these on, because you know what happens when you have them. I'm going to get my glue out. Isn't it cute? It does nothing. It says on it, Feel you love. Feel you love. Why well, didn't say feel your love, but feel you love. Okay. It's cute, though. I'm going to put his napkins in there, and that'll be so nice. He'll, be, he'll think, honey, what did you do? All right. Now, I got this because it's going to go with these things I bought when I wear them out in public. And I paid thirteen fifty nine because I'm from Wyoming. And this looks, remember when these were real leather? It's not now though, it's just fake. $13.59, does your purse pop? Mine does. Okay, and it comes with a strap. A nice one. And inside it has a zip pocket. And a, a zip pocket on this side and a slip pocket here. For $13, it's going to be fun. I used to want big, big purses, but anymore, I just don't need to take that much with me. So... Nice bag purse. I will have everything linked below so that if you, and this came in different colors. I'll tell you the other colors. It came in red, purple, black, brown, green. I got this color though because I wanted it to look like real leather. All right. I gotta turn my fan off because I'm cool now. Now look at this came separate because it was one of those free gifts. Like if you pick a gift right now, you get it. So what did I what did I get? There was nothing on there that I wanted. Everything when I looked at all the free gifts because you know they're not that great. So I just got balloons, happy birthday balloons because I have a lot of birthday parties here. 
free gift. I like them. All right, this was $3.91 for my little great grandbaby. I love it, 100% cotton. I think I already got one, but that doesn't matter. Might be a different size. It might be for a different baby, but when I can find something this cute for less than $4, and it is 100% cotton, I'm getting it. Okay. <coughs> I paid, remember, I got that $40 coupon off, so I could afford $8.98 to get things that are a little nicer that I wouldn't usually order, maybe, because I'm always looking for the cheap stuff. Yellowstone, Dutton Ranch, 1883. Oh, I hope they don't think I was born in... Oh, I like this a lot. Hope they don't think I was born in 1883. You would be dead if you were born in 1883. Look at it. Oh, and look, it even has some of this down here. And here's the back. It's going to be a cute summer shirt. Oh, I like it. It's a two extra large. It's not cotton shirt, but it is a good t-shirt. It's not fun that funky fabric. I like it. I'm going to wear that on my trip. All right, then I got this. Another t-shirt, 967. Now, when I was a little girl, cowboy shows were big. We would watch them. And my ex-husband, my girl's dad, his favorite show was The Lone Ranger. I think this is The Lone Ranger. Da, 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 da. You know, I was riding his horse. And it's perfect for here. Now, did it say it's supposed to be a sweatshirt? Because it's kind of built that way, but it's not. It is cowboy print pullover sweatshirt. Casual, raglan sleeves. Well, it's not anything to do with a sweatshirt. It's that weird, slicky fabric. But it's going to be fun because it's the Lone Ranger and Tonto. We love those cowboy shows and the Indians. Now, this one is so, oh, now I'll go back. Some message popped up. This one is looks different. Okay, $12.98, and I got a 2X for large. It's supposed to be a 16. And I just loved how it looked on there. So let's see if I do like it in real person. We're going to have another try on. Is this kind of weird? Combos. And these actually are different fabric stitched, not printed like some of those things. Yeah, it's different fabric stitched. I think it's cute though. And the sleeves are bell. I'll show you the picture of the skinny Benny wearing it on here. I'm trying to see, is that the same fabric I got? I guess. Anyway, here she is wearing it. And I thought it was cute. It's kind of different. A little more dressy than just a t-shirt. Now, what color would you wear with it? Oh, it has blue, so you can wear jeans. My new white pants would be cute. Okay, now this one. When I saw this shirt, seven... 49. I immediately thought of some of those old movies we used to watch on TV. We loved our Saturday movies. And my sister, Shauna, she always got to hold the TV guide. We didn't have a remote back then. She would hold the TV. Usually we got out of the newspaper and it was, you know, you only had two channels and it would give you your TV guide in there. And so she would get to pick out what we're watching. But she would lie because um, 
she would lie because sometimes she would tell us a different movie. Like we love Tarzan movies and we love the cowboy movies. She would go, love in the jungle. It's going to be a really good show, you know. So we're all sitting around ready for it to start. She wouldn't let us hold the newspaper or the TV guide. And so then here the movie would start and we're like, this doesn't look like that title you told us. But we had to watch what she picked. But I just remember a movie about this. This looks like Ronald Reagan's branch. Did you ever see that documentary of his house? And my sister and I, we would play Del Evans and Annie Oakley. And she got to always be the good one. And I had to be the weird one. And she got the gun with the holster. My holster was a string. Because you mind you, these were my brother, older brother's leftover toys. And my gun didn't, what, didn't shoot like this. When I held my gun up, the thing fell because it was broken. But we still played. And I'm trying to think. She got to be Annie Oakley, I think. And I had to be Del Evans. Because Del Evans was kind of the worst of the two. Del Evans was older. Annie Oakley was cool. So I'm going to get Shauna one of these shirts. And we can have our Annie Oakley and Del Evans shows. Home, home on the range. My, when my brother, I mean my husband's sister died. Her funeral when they took the casket out of the chapel and they played the music, they played happy trails to you until we meet again. If you know, if you recognize what that song was, happy trails to you. And then this, they had this old fashioned carriage like, and pulled by a horse that took her to the cask, to the cemetery. It was so cool. And then they had her daughter, granddaughter riding a horse. And then they had her taking her horse, this dead sister's horse, with the empty saddle beside her following behind the casket. It was so sad. She, was, she did rodeos and everything, that sister. And then I got two more of these. I'm so glad because they're sold out now. And I just love these little babies. And look, but it's kind of like child abuse. Kind of reminds me. No, don't hurt the baby. Child abuse. I sw they should have make these be old men or, you know, the president, the one president you don't like. They should be each president. And then you could buy the one you didn't like and then you could do this to them. I'm not getting political, though. Anyway, I'm glad I got two, though, because I'm going to make clothes for them. Now I got triplets because I already have another one over here. And I'll show you what I'm doing. I want to make a little yo-yo quilt for the buggy. If you guys haven't seen the buggy, here it is that I got at the used place. And this little doll fits in there perfect. Now we're going to have triplets. And then the big old baby. We're going to have a babysitting factory. Okay, so I'm, first I made this little yo-yo. And I think it might just be a little small. So I made it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make him this size and make a blanket for the doll buggy. Just so it will be fun for me. Something, you know, I always have to do something different. Okay, next, what did I get next? Oh, we might be halfway through. So now you know if you like my style or you don't. If you think I should be more serious, or if you think that I'm a nutcase, or you think I'm a shopaholic, or whatever. But if you like it, then give me a like up. A like up. And then here's what else I got. These were $7.48. I don't know if it was worth it. But they're stickers with my favorite saying on it that I gave a little morning show about one time. I don't know if it was a morning show. And you got to customize, and you got 108, 748, and it, I put on mine, do what matters most. Little stickers. So then I'm going to put them on my letters, my packages, whatever. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> I always have. <clears throat> now, to me, this was a little 849, and it's not really... 
a very good picture, but I still had to get it. Vida, Vida, Vegemin. But look at Lucy. That isn't even very good. I guess it's a cartoon Lucy. Vida, Vida, Vegemin. And I have the Lucy doll, the Barbie de Lucy doll that is this. Oh, I should have got it out. Anyway, and this is a real t-shirt fabric. Nice, soft, not that funky stuff. So, that's going to be fun to wear. All of these were fun things. Now, I have my one leopard shirt that has panthers on it. I guess they're panthers, not leopards. What is, oh, this says leopard. $8.98. Because, you know, I got rid of 65 t-shirts when I cleaned out my closet. I'm going to get back up there now, getting as many as I got rid of. And this is a little slickery fabric. But I think I like it. With the panther with black pants. Oh, it's a leopard. I like it. And did it come in other colors? If I like it, I could order. Oh, it did. Why did I get this color? Pink one, $8.99. This one, burgundy, $8.99. And then they have a rose red one. Why didn't I get that one? That's cuter. Look at the rose red. Why did I get this color? Well, if I like it, I'm going to order the other color. And then a lighter pink. <clears throat> and I got the 2X. And it's 27 inches long. I want at least 27 long to cover the front butt. Probably because I always get pink. All right. Now, this one is supposed to be at another kind of sweatshirt thing. Yeah. And I got a 2X. $10.11. So, it's not your Hanes sweatshirt. But it's a pattern. Sweatshirt pattern. Okay, this is another one of those movies that I remember watching. And these girls aren't so much cowgirls. Like that other one, they're sitting on the fence with their rope. These are just trying to be beauty girls. Half and half sweatshirt. What will I wear them with? Just jeans? No, I got this. I don't know if any of them will match it, though. These pants were $8.35 for leggings. And they have the same kind of print. But it would be too much, probably, to wear one of those shirts with this. It doesn't match at all. Can you imagine if you wore this with the Vita Vita Benjamin? Boy, would you be a colorful person. Wearing these two. But the other ones don't really match. It's okay. Don't worry about me. I will find something to match them. Now, I got something for my family room over there. Uh, for $3.95. I just got one. I might buy another if I liked it. But over there, we have the dead animal room, you know, with the bear, the... Um, moose. My husband shot the moose and it ran in the swamp and then he had to go home and get the canoe and then go get it out of the water. It was, oh, it was a mess. Oh, some people don't like hunting stories. And then he has the bear that almost attacked his son and he killed it. Oh, this is cute. So this will match that room over there. Not really. Oh, it goes this way. This is my Roy Rogers, all of those, Bonanza, what do they say, Wild West, Cody Rides Wild, Saddle Stores, Rodeo, 101 Ranch, Real Wild West, 1929, the Pendleton Roundup. Pendleton, Oregon, that's where I'm from, Oregon. And up here says Buffalo Bills and something. Wild West, Far East. <coughs> I love it. 
And it's pretty, it's not burlap fabric. It's soft fabric, like those sweatshirts. <laughs> I like it. I'm gonna order another one. Cause you know, you gotta have a pair. Add to cart, okay. But now they're four twenty five. I got mine for three ninety five. You're gonna be spending thirty cents more now. I like it. I'll probably get a lot. Of, that's gonna be a good conversation piece. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Remember this? We do remember this. They had a commercial when you went to the theater or the drive-in. Because we had a drive-in in our town. And it was so much fun. But you want to hear my drive-in story? You're going to love my drive-in story. And this reminds me of it. This came in other colors, too. I don't know where I'll put it. I'll, it's kind of bent. I'm going to straighten it. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, once you hammer it on the wall. All right, I got to tell you my story. My sisters, my family know this story quite well. All right, when I was a little girl, I don't know how old I was. Probably eight, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we were going to go to the drive-in that night. And we were so excited because, you know, we didn't get to go that often. And it was only a summertime thing. So we... Just couldn't wait. Sean and I were so excited all day long. We couldn't wait. And we were going to go see the flower drum song. Anyway, it was a really musical number song. So we were excited. So it was lunchtime. And my mother goes, eat your lunch. Eat your sandwiches. Oh, look. It made a noise. Anyway, I, I lied. And I threw mine in the garbage. And I said, yes, I ate my sandwiches. Well, I don't remember what dinner was, but it came time to go. And, you know, you don't go to like 8.30 at night because it's going to have, you have to wait for it to get dark for the driving. So I, we were excited. My dad made the popcorn and he made popcorn good. He put so much butter on it in the big old paper sacks. So we got the popcorn. We got our blankets and pillows and we always went in our pajamas. And so time to go and we're all and my mother, it was a special a thing, and she bought us all a candy bar, a real, probably five cent, ten cent candy bar. And mine was a Milky, uh, no, a Three Musketeers candy bar. Okay, so we're at the show, and I ate my candy bar, and I started feeling a little sick, because, you know, I didn't have a good lunch or dinner that day. It's what I thought, but it was probably because... I was sick anyway. And so the show's going on and on. I'm in my blanket and I really like the movie, but I'm, you know, nauseated. Well, if you know little children, they don't say, I think I'm going to throw up. They just throw up. And then, you know, you don't really know when you're little. Oh, I think it's going to come up. So here I start throwing up this rancid sickness smell. And my dad is saying, roll the window down back there. And back then it was, you know, well, all the sisters were screaming, ah, trying to get on the other side of the car. I'm trying to roll the window down. And my mother's looking for a towel. And here I am puking all in the back seat. And I was crying. So then my dad wanted to stay and finish watching the movie. But everyone else is like, let's go home. It stinks in here. So guess what the whole family remembers of Flower Drum Song? We never got to see the end of the movie. And a while back, I found a cassette, the music from that, that was years ago, a mu from that movie. I had to buy it and send it to my parents because, anyway, that's my story about throwing up in the car at the drive-in. I was nobody's friend at that point. All right, 629. I think that's kind of a lot for Timu for a little girl's dress that's not even a yard of fabric. But, and you get a ribbon. I think I ordered it before, but it is pretty cute. Three to six months, and then this ribbon goes around it. And it has the pleated skirt. And they don't go to church much, but... <clears throat> That doesn't matter. Every little baby girl needs a cute little dress. 
Okay, and I've ordered white, uh, pink tights and stuff. So that's cute. And then, <clears throat> do you see what I'm wearing today? And I wore it to town with the pants and I loved it. So I am so happy because I got another one. Burnt orange. Isn't it cute? I'm. This is my favorite fabric, favorite shirt, favorite style. V-neck. I might have to hand the sleeves. I didn't on this one. This one was perfect. So, and look, the pants are this. I could wear this one with these pants. That could be an outfit. So, I, and this one was only, how much? $5.99. That was cheap. And it says it's dark brown. Burnt brown, I think. But this will match my purse so good. The one purse I got. Let me see. Let me get it. I shouldn't have put everything so far away. Okay, here's my purse. I was seeing if it matched these pants. No, I wouldn't do that. But look, uh, I think it would be fine. So, I'm going to have to try it on. I'm going to have a try on and put all these clothes on when I get my next order, too. It did not come in any... Oh, it did come in uh, khaki. I already have it in khaki. So, and now it's $10.99. I paid $5.99. Maybe the burnt brown one is $5.99. No, they're both $9.99. Sorry. It's not my fault if they raise the price. I think the prices are cheaper on the weekends. So, I just think at nighttime, we all just need to keep looking because those prices, there's no rhyme or reason for when they go cheaper and then they, and you put them in your cart and then if you don't get them, you come back and then the price is higher. So, I'm not going to get any more shirts ever again. And you already know, I do lie sometimes. But, still give me a thumbs up. Thank you.